My name is Abhinanda Sarkar. Um, I work as faculty director for Great Learning. So first, let's take a traditional view on this. So when you are talking about data, there are many, many sources of data. And sources of data that correspond to, for example, business analytics have been around for quite some time now. So one particular skill set, of course, is the ability to process and analyze data and generate value from it. And different industries define value differently. But something interesting has taken place recently, and that is that data has been embedded into other kinds of technologies, for example, AI. So when we talk about AI, therefore, we are now talking about data skills as well. And that has led to a very interesting training opportunity and learning opportunity, I think, for all of us, not just gen this generation, but also generations following. And that is to be able to integrate data into a technology story. A good example is what's happening in generative AI. We're all going to be consumers of generative AI, irrespective of whether we define ourselves as data scientists or data engineers or not. So one thing we all have to learn is how to use generative AI in ways that are respectful of the data that has gone into it. So if we understand that, then we can ask the right questions, pose the right prompts, and even if necessary, fine tune those models and be good enough technologists in order to be able to do that. So data today is sort of completing a cycle between going from an information science into a pure technology, into being embedded inside our networks, inside our cloud systems, inside our AI systems. So the distinction between what used to be a data scientist in the past and an AI engineer in the future will probably blur. And that will have implications for how we train people. Professionals who aren't necessarily from the data world will use these technologies and technologists who are developing the next set of innovations in this will also develop the next set of platforms. Absolutely right. So think about what we just discussed. We talked about data being imbued into technology. So therefore, if this data isn't necessarily fit for purpose, then the technology that comes out of it will then also reflect that. Now, there are two ways one can address this question. One way is to say, let's create better systems. In other words, let's make sure that the data that we use is relevant for the application that we have. If we are using words or faces of individuals, let's make sure that they are representative of the population that will use it. So we do not have biases in terms of demographics or any other characteristics that we may refer to. That's one, making sure that the data in some way is not biased. The second is, even if the data is biased, and even if the system itself cannot be very easily modified, can we use it in a way that is less biased, that we can therefore put to global use or use within professions? This goes down to saying, let's ask the right questions again to generative AI. Let's make sure we understand the output correctly. And let's make sure that we realize that when we want an answer to a question that we're asking, let's say ChatGPT, that the responses may be biased, but we can use better questions to get the right answers. So I do not necessarily think of bias as being a bad word here. I think the use of systems that may potentially be biased, but to use them in environments where we can de-bias them as users is a huge opportunity. And I like to think of that also as a training opportunity. How can we make use of limited systems for uses that make sense for us? So this is an event that's built around data strategy. But what are we talking about? We're talking mostly about technology. I heard wonderful presentations on the next technology stack that's coming up. I hear wonderful applications on, of how industries are morphing themselves to take advantage of these technologies. So once again, data today is not just about the information in the bits and bytes. It's about the bits and bytes themselves and how we can put that to use. So I think we, we are, we are at a time when datafication and digitization are all merging into a wonderful way of doing business and having better lives.